Hey guys, so we just got to the barn and we thought we would do a little vlog. Um, if you don't follow us on Instagram, you might not know, but Rumor actually hurt himself last two or this Tuesday, like yeah. two days ago. Mm -hmm. So we're here to see him. Yeah, he got to go out in the field for the first time on Tuesday and it was like the first time he'd been in a field in like eight years or something because the barn we got him from didn't have like grass turnout. So I think he got like a little excited about that, I guess. But he got like a cut on his like lower shoulder in the front mm -hmm. kind of area. But it looks like he might have just like rolled on something. But we like walked out in the field. It just, we couldn't find anything that would have like poked him or anything. So it's really weird. Yeah. And it's a pretty minor cut, but he like will not use his leg now. He just drags it along. And we like, it takes like two people to get him to even move, take one step. So. Yeah. Yeah. We had the vet out and they said it was just like superficial they gave him a tetanus shot and he, he's gonna live so we're just here to clean it we clean it twice a day so we thought we would show you yeah so here we go Better bring him a treat too. I think he's feeling pretty sorry for himself. One left. And all our supplies. Rumor's lucky he has nurse mommies. Yes. <laughs> so Rumor's outside in his paddock. We kicked him outside. He stayed in his stall yesterday because he's not much for walking, but it looks like he's not walking really right now either because he usually comes up to the gate when we get here. Hi, Rumor. It looks like his breakfast is still here. <laughs> we'll walk him over to it after. Hi, Rumor. Are you stuck over here because you can't walk? So I don't know if you'll be able to see it that well, but that's the cut. It's not. Oh, it's a thick one. It's not even that bad. It's just like two little puncture wounds. But it apparently hurts him a lot because he doesn't want to walk. Our trainer's been giving him butte twice a day too, just so he's a bit more comfortable. But he's still not much for walking. Just like irrigating it with normal saline just to clean it off. Yeah, it seems like really weird since we like clean wounds all the time at work for it to like not be sterile and stuff, but he's a horse so I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to bring him over to his food to see if he'll eat. I'm not actually sure how he got all the way over here because he's very reluctant to walk. Poor oh, baby. Yeah, it like doesn't help that it's his front leg too because he just like wants to drag it. If it was a back leg, he could drag it. So he's eating his mountain of hay now. We're just filling up his water bucket. We brought him close enough so he could reach the water in the hay. He doesn't like walking on his own. He's 
so we're gonna clean room or stall now and we bought him a licket last night and it was hanging right there but he ate the entire thing <laughs> oh well at least he enjoyed it <laughs> Rumor's outside paddock is completely clean because he didn't even go out here. He just pivots around in his stall. I don't think we ever showed what this in a video before, but we bought Rumor this salt rock. It's like a Himalayan salt rock. And they're like harvested like naturally from like Colorado or something. So they're all natural, but they have a lot of minerals and stuff in them it's not just salt and rumor really likes it so if you have a horse that needs a salt lick it de we definitely recommend these ones i think it was only like seven dollars or something so they're not too expensive oh i just realized since it's called a redmond rock that it's actually from oregon not colorado so yeah <laughs> Ta-da! all clean This is the field where Rumor got hurt on his first big adventure. The grass is really tall, like there's horses out there, but you can hardly see them. So it's pretty much impossible to try to find what he hurt himself on. But the fence is brand new and it's electric, so I highly doubt it was the fence. But yeah, he could be out here right now, but he just won't walk. <laughs> so it's kind of his own fault. Yeah, there's two horses in every field and you can hardly see them because the grass is so tall. Horsey heaven. Saying goodbye to Rumor. He's just resting. He made a pretty good dent in his breakfast. And that horse right there is the horse I used to ride, Lily. She's in a lesson. Such a cute mare. Bye, Rumor. This is Rumor's field mate. He was there when he got injured. He apparently provided good emotional support. He like didn't want to leave the field without Rumor and Rumor was like stuck in one spot. It was sad. Good boy, True. Alright. Goodbye. We're just changing our shoes because dewberry boots are really hot in the summertime. And we're going to a horse show. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go to Thunderbird just to see what's going on because we haven't been there in a while. Now we wouldn't mind watching some expensive ponies jump over some brightly colored sticks. This is what a debit card card. looks like. It's also a Visa card, so if you take the number, you can order stuff online. Yeah. Breathing crew, look at puppies. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Little babies. Hello. <laughs> music is playing in the background. I hope you don't get copyrighted. 
And now, as promised, ladies and gentlemen, here's our final entry in the open jumper meter 35, number 217, Stephanie Clark, rider and owner of Pegasus. That's a good name. <laughs> it does look like a Pegasus. So we made it back to the car. This is the end of our vlog. Brianne bought a couple things. There was some shopping at the show. Yeah. She got rumor some treats. Because he ate the last one today, so he needed more. <laughs> and then I got these socks. They're the Socks Trot socks. And they have these pretty rose pattern on them. So I obviously had to buy them. Yes. And that is all. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>